Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you what we're going to be doing. We're going to be playing around with some tool. And I just got this from Walmart. Um, I'm quite sure, I, well I can't say I'm quite sure. But I think it was on sale or clearance when I picked it up. Or it was under, it was a dollar. Um, but now it's a dollar ninety-seven. So I'm going to share with you the not so good flowers that I made. This is, in my opinion, not is a part to what I was trying to go for. So I'm going to just put that to the side. I also tried this monstrosity. Again, not what I was going for. But I'm going to use that piece to make the ones that I was going for. And this one is okay. It's a little bit um, uneven. So I definitely have to correct that a little bit. Or I just cut this off right here. Trim it up a little bit. And then this one is okay as well. But these two came out good in my opinion so we're going to be working on trying to make some good ones and then this one in the making of those flowers I also made these little bows and I was looking for a pink or a white tool I guess I don't have pink or white and I had to dig it out of a box so I need to stop digging into boxes but I had been crafted and I saw these little owl paper clips that Joyce made for me in our um, swap that we did. We did a pocket letter swap. And so this, a lot of the things that people create for me that are small and tiny, they're on my desk. And so I've just been seeing that little green tool pop up and say, hey, why don't you play with tool? Hey, why don't you play with tool? So that's what we're going to be doing today. And I'm going to share with you how I make these. I watched a ton of videos. Um, I'll link the. I'll try to go back and rewatch the videos again and link the ladies that motivated me or kind of meld it all together to make this. So what you need is some tool, and I'm just going to. Um, one lady wraps it around her palm, and another lady wraps it around her fingers. I. You could take a piece of paper, wrap it around anything flat, I guess, if you wanted to. So we're just going to go a few times. The lady I watched, she does it four times. So um, I've been doing it five times. So one, two, three, four, five. Now you see how it ended here on this end? If you want to make a bow, that would be fine because you can use this loose one and this loose one has tails. If you don't want to make a bow, then you can do it four times, you can do it six times to make it even. It's totally up to you. The scissors I'm using right now are not worth much. I've ruined them, I think. So we're going to put our tool to the side, and then we're going to take a tie from here that I didn't do so great, which is okay. And we're going to... Now the smaller you make these, the tighter they will be. So if you want to just measure out a, a certain amount and make them a little bit wider, you can. Or you don't have to. I mean, it's totally up to you. It's your creation, whatever you want to do. Um, we're going to do it like this. I really don't have large hands when I think about it. But when you're tight, you're pulling it tight you know you can um, definitely alter your projects with the the um, tightness that you use so I'm going to take this I'm pretty good at tying bows not bows knots um, for the most part I guess <laughs> see I'm tying I tie one you know me, I always like to reinforce, double enforce things to knots. Now this, now see if I, if we were going to make a bow, this would be perfect because we have four little tails and you can just fan these out. But we're not, we're going to do a flower first. Try to make sure it's in the center as best as possible. All right. Now what you want to do, and I recommend you doing this versus clipping the ends unless you have more than four or five loops around you just want to take your scissors and cut the edges off just like that 
all right all righty so there we are move this to the side and now what we're going to do is fluff these out and up and we're going to go ahead and cut our edges our, our tails off probably can recycle that so I'll see and we're going to fluff this out what I would like to do and I don't have my smaller circle punch I just have the one and one half circle punch is to kind of fold these fan fold these I guess not fan fold fold these over like this Pop, poof them out and then put a um, circle right here and then put the embellishment on but since I don't have that and I'm not I don't know where I put the circle punch I probably packed it I pulled only a few punches out and the other ones I packed up but of course here I am trying to craft with everything and I shouldn't be doing that anyway there we have that one and we're going to do one more together and then we're going to go ahead and embellish it and we'll call this project done okay the good thing about tool is that you have a decent amount on a yard excuse me on a spool and you can make a lot of mistakes or you can make a lot of great projects without mistakes one two three four and see if you do four if you do an even number of course it's going to come back to where you started the odd number is going to be opposite all right so you just cut that off and now I'm going to squeeze right here in the middle you know when it, I said we could recycle we're going to just pull this over if you have recyclable material from a project of course try to recycle it I know some um, crafters whatever scraps they have they just trash them I haven't got that to that part yet I'm still a craft harder I guess you could say um, but I am getting there I threw something away I was like oh that felt liberating so maybe maybe one of my future goals will be to not craft hard everything again we're just gonna cut this edge off just like that now I'm not gonna keep that little piece unless I was doing some type of um, maybe a mixed media project but I packed all my paint up and I don't think you've all ever seen me paint anything really because um, I'm not that great at it but I think I am in my head in my head I can do all things um, I remember I told it to someone I was like I can't be great at everything but you know, your head, you can do everything. I have a coworker who's amazing at woodwork. I've told you all this before, and we talk about it. And um, I'm, I'm like, I could probably, in my head, of course, I could probably do some woodworking and make a masterpiece. And in reality, it'd be a bunch of planks together. So make sure when you're cutting your edges that you actually cut properly, not like I'm doing right now and going in and snipping and giving it a a haircut but it turned out okay and then I'm just gonna cut these off a little bit to kind of hide them out because these are very um, thin all right if you wanted to you could probably put a little bit of hot glue or some type of fabric tack to secure it a lot better if you wanted to whatever makes you happy course um, now I'm just letting the glue gun heat up and while we let the glue gun heat up we're going to try not to have a craft of lunch so we got four four decent ones I'm gonna pull out our buttons and you know that I um, 
been on a use up all these pieces right here because they're pretty but I don't think I'll be able to master that let me pull out some and when the glue gun gets hot we'll get started okay so let's see if I can't fix a few things right quick these are the ones I pulled out We're gonna try and I'm going to also put centers in these ribbon ribbon ones um, I'm, this is fairly big so I don't know what I could use those for and I really really like this jewel button but I don't think it's this is the right project for it I think that for this it needs to sit in something like that versus though because I'm not gonna file this down this looks like you know you could put this on a box poke a hole through the hole poke a hole through the box and put it on there so I'll put that to the side and just keep it moving um, I really like this one and I am not team shank I know some people are but I'm not sure if she's watching my videos right now. <laughs> so she won't know if I um, got rid of the shank or not. So I'm going to put this shank on this big bow. Excuse me, this butterfly on this big bow. Butterfly button. I can't speak. It's early in the morning. Not that this is an excuse, but this is my first time speaking. So let's see. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Now, I do not know how hot glue and tool react together. I hope they're very friendly and we can have a great union. If not, I'm in trouble. Do you... um? have craft projects that you have in your head that you haven't created yet because you don't know how to execute them I have so many things that I want to do see it came out very pretty and I'm also going to put up um, I want to make this into a paper clip but I won't I'm going to leave it like that and this could probably be a, a brooch crazy looking brooch but it could be anyway <laughs> I like that button um, they only had one in that packaging Let's put those to the side so I don't get too distracted. Um, I have a few projects that I really, really want to try and do. And so that's why I've been um, pulling out my ribbon and tool. I've been trying to do a lot of YouTube research, looking things up, trying to figure out how this works and how that works with that because I really want to use the stuff that I buy a lot of like the paper I'm good on learning how to use and do different paper types of things and then you know the stamps no big deal either I pretty much got stamping you know you stamp put some ink on the stamp and stamp um, and now I've started to dabble into background creating random background stamps as well but where do you go besides Pinterest well I even started tapping into my Pinterest um, searches a lot more than I used to because I've been looking at random things the problem with Pinterest is sometimes people won't I guess give credit where they find the thing at whatever they whatever they're looking for they don't actually pin it properly and so when you go to try to read the instructions on it it's not there or it may be in another language which is sucky for me because I only speak one and a half languages um, and I only read 1.25 language so yeah alrighty so that's how that one look and at the end you can always just fluff them back up and I was really worried about this showing that little middle piece you can't even see it now 
because it's fluffed up and out. The problem or the issue that you need to be very cognitive of is your knot. How you tie your knot in the middle and you have to do a good job at it or else you're going to pull all your tool out when you go to fluff it up. I do have some flat jewels like that so that's really cool. And I'm always nervous about this portion. I had got some tweezers to do finite projects. But of course, they're probably packed up. That can't be my excuse for crafting. Um, it's packed. That's not a good excuse. I'm going to have to find projects that do not require all the stuff that I think I need. So I'll probably do a lot of paper crafting in the new year until I get settled into my craft space. And it'll be all of my craft space, not anyone else's because I'm gonna have a room to myself I'm not going to have to share it with the public. But I got a feeling my little roommate and Nicholas will always want to come in and hang out with me. The baby, of course, can. And my big roommate can. Nicholas can't. Because Nicholas likes to sit on things, steal my pencils. Anything round, he steals. He steals the um, Chanel stems. He steals balls, little balls that I have. I have pearl of bead projects that I worked on before the baby got here. And he stole those out of the little container that I had them in. So he's definitely a cat burglar, Carol. Definitely. Alright, so that one's just a little bit on the messy side. But we are done. And let's go over all of them. Okay, so um, the one thing you have to be careful of with your clear ones is that sometimes they may get cloudy. It didn't happen on this one. It happened on another project that I worked on. So just be careful of that um, when you are putting your hot glue on clear items. So that's the first, one, the last one, but the first one we're showing. Then this one, this is really pretty. It looks super pretty better than I expected and I like that whenever I create something and it comes out better than I expected so that's two that's our third one that we have created together very cute and these are all different sizes even though I have the same size hand you know your tension like I said earlier does differences this is a four this one's a little bit off. This is probably one of the ones I didn't like, but I kept it. Because sometimes you just got to work with what you have and make it work. And then this is our bow. And if I really wanted to, I can go in and snip right here. But I'm not. I'm just going to keep it like that. So this is our project for this morning. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know if you have other projects that you make with tool and you think I can try them. I would love to try it out. Thank you for watching. Happy crafting.